Cuposkin, Unboskin, uh, Unboskin, when it comes to figure series like Cuposkit, which have a feature that really stands out on them, that being the eyes. What happens then when they release one where you can't see the eyes at all? Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And we've got a Cuposkit Unboskin, uh, Unboskin, a Cuposkit Unboxing video for you today. And yes, to me, Cuposkits, their main features or definitely the eyes. I think these are the really key selling point which makes them so cute. Without them eyes, I don't think they work very well. So I picked up Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen from my local B&M store. Hello Bam Bam. And this was because it was actually on offer for £15, roughly about $20. So it's a, it was around about half price. This is version A, and if you go to the side there, version B does actually have him there without his mask on. But the big question is, Will I actually like this version? I really think without the eyes, it is just not, it's just not gonna sell it to me properly, but let's open it up and take a closer look. After we have a quick look at the box. So you've got the big picture of Gojo there yourself, a little side shot with his name and everything on, a full body shot there as well, all the worn information on the bottom. Again, another shot at the top there, so a little bit dusty, I've had it for a couple of weeks. And of course, on the side bit, all the information, all the logos, as well as the other version there as well. I thought this would be a fun one to do, to have a look at, just to kind of see and compare the difference of one of their big, big features. So we open it up, and it comes in standard three parts. Nothing else in the box there. Because of course it doesn't have any kind of weapons or anything like that, so it's just the very basic parts. It's the head, the body, as well as the standard Q posket stand. I'll slap him into there. Very spiky hair, so it's a little hard actually pressing down on him there to push him his head in. But there we have, there is Gojo. And yeah, the quality and the molding of this is actually still really good, just like all Q poskets. It's a very basic one, because Gojo has only got the one crisis, his black suit, with of course his skin and his hair, so there's not a lot going on there, not a whole lot of detail in there, the colour-wise kind of area. Um, but it is executed very well, nice and smooth, nice and sharp, no marks anywhere, nothing on the head, a little bit, slight little bit of mould in here, which you kind of expect from these, just little bits of mould and lines here and there. But I'm sure since this looks like it's a solid piece, you could easily just scrape that off and smooth that down. I think my initial suspicions were correct. Yes, it is moulded nice, yes, the look of it is still quite nice, but not actually having the eyes. I know this is Gojo, I know that's his character, he has it covered, covered until he, sometimes when he does take it off, like version B. But it's still nice, it's still going to look nice on the shelf. I think people are out there, except yourselves included, probably are still actually going to like Gojo and still add him to the collection. But let me know what you think. Q Posket no eyes, Q Posket with eyes. Which do you think is actually better? And should I see if I can pick up the other version of Gojo? I normally don't do this, I normally only keep to the one, but this is actually to me, a big difference between them, not just colour wise, you get to see eyes, no eyes. So let me know down below. And if you do want to see that, make sure you subscribe. My name is Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.